Having looked at what was available at the budget end of the kit car market, Ian Pettinger decided there was room for a new design. Over the next three weeks, Kits and Cruising will follow this process from the design through to the prototype stage, seeing how they keep the project within budget, press reaction, and finally, our first drive. But let's go back to the beginning with Ian. I'm interested to uh, pursue an idea I've had about uh, a monocoque chassis. Um, the things that I see in the marketplace um, are not particularly well executed. Ian saw this as the perfect way to use the specialist expertise of his company. He had the facilities but now needed an engineer to design his chassis. Status, an engineering consultancy within Manchester University, recommended Steve Greenwood. Today, Ian will meet Steve to discuss his ideas. It's important that the project follows a strict budget. Ian is no sentimental car enthusiast. This is purely a business venture. Hello, Steve. Hi. Nice to put a face to the name. Yeah, come on. Then. Right. I've, I've got quite a, a scheme in mind. Uh, my concept uh, for the project is that every single hole is in the chassis and it's in the right place. Yes. Um, if uh, the customer has to drill a hole in, the, in metal components, if they have to file them, well, I see it that we've failed. Steve Greenwood is now based at the premises of Stainless Products, and now they're heavily involved in the design process. Even at this early stage, Ian and Steve meet regularly. Every bracket and structural member is scrutinised to make sure that it can be produced and productionised within budget. Which I thought may be a problem with the engine in its installation, mm -hmm. but it's actually better. And another change I want to put into is that following the test, I think we can improve stiffness, overall stiffness, by adding a panel in here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a multifunctional panel, so we can do a lot of things within the same unit cost. So we'll get rid of this bracket. I from was always here. unhappy about that. It means by taking that off, we can get the engine and gearbox in as one That's without good. any problems. Having agreed on this particular solution, Ian and Steve look at the first component made with this new tooling. Okay. You can see it avoids the engine. Mm -hmm. uh, we've increased its torsional rigidity by having this as a bolt down. And we've just got the very basic shape of a damper mounting in there. And then to, make, to cut the unit cost of the bracket overall, we're going to have the clips for the radiator top mount made from the same piece. We'll have some fold-ups for the expansion tank, and we're going to be able to use the Sierra standard expansion oh, tank. And then we'll have another fold up here to hold the top hose to okay. keep it away from the damper. So I think we've done fairly well to clear up that area. So within this one unit, we've incorporated four or five different features. Yes. Excellent. Next week, we see the project through to the prototype stage.